In this video, we'll review the new features in version 13 of mPanel FEA. Let's start with the build model changes. We've simplified the method to define Encastra or cantilever poles. Previously, we used a 3D poly at the tops of the poles to define the poles as Encastra or Encastra with links. We've changed this method to apply the definition to the poles which are modeled as vertical 3D polys, which is more intuitive. The new procedure to model Encostra poles is to add a 3D poly connecting the base of the poles, which are also drawn as 3D polys. We select all the poles, then select either read as Encastra pole or read as Encastra pole with links, and then click set. FEA will confirm the changes have been made with this message. A new model tool has been added called Static Beam. This transfers all the forces along a beam to the ends of the beam. The purpose of this new tool is to allow analysis of tent or temporary tent structures where the fabric is not connected to the spreader beam between corner posts. We'll cover this in more detail in a separate video. We've made some improvements on the Materials tab and added some more materials to the supplied databases, including different names for metric and imperial cables and poles. The Oncastra Pole database now allows technical users to add the section modulus value directly, or these values can still be calculated. We can edit the Oncastra Pole database add a new material, and either enter the data or open the Calculate tab, add in the diameter and wall thickness, then paste into the database record and close the Calculator tab. Then give the material a name and description, then click the check mark to save the new record, adding this to your available polls. The Loads tab has been expanded to include load factors for all three loads – pressure, weight, and snow – making it simpler to build code-compliant load cases with a lot less duplication. We've also added the ability for users to determine load signs to suit local codes. Under the Load Settings menu, you simply select if positive pressure will be applied up or down. A new advanced setting has been added to the solver, which restricts minimum membrane stress to a percentage of the fabric pre-stress. This allows the solver to find a solution in situations such as temporary tents, which typically use very low pre-stress values and large areas of the membrane are slack when solving for loads. On the Results tab, we've added a new plot which reports the bending stress in Oncastra poles. The Plot Settings menu has a new option called Plot Text Size and Resolution. This gives the user more control over text size, as well as the number of significant figures to be displayed and the format, including scientific or engineering. Finally, a new anti-collision algorithm has been added to the plot routines to avoid reaction values being plotted on top of each other. For example, reactions at the top and bottom of a pole. 